Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And this is a retest because, as you recall, we did a test with a smaller case volume round like the 44 Russian compared to the bigger round of the 44 Special. Same powder charge, and we got. 826 feet per second average using the Keith bullet and six grains of unique. 826 feet per second plus this kind of accuracy with the 44 Russian. And then we shot the same powder charge and only got 621 feet per second average plus bad accuracy, in fact, some keyholing with the 44 special. Well, that's a difference of 200 feet per second, and that seems like it's almost unreasonable. Well, it turns out that I, what I didn't report to you was that the 44 Special got unburned powder. So with unburned powder, that could have easily skewed the results. So I felt we needed to retest, and so I did. And so here's what we did. By the way, tonight is a historic night in American politics. Wouldn't you agree? Any of you out there have been watching the news? And what's amazing is that none of the big TV networks, that's all confounded because their polls and everything seem to favor one candidate over the other. And it seems to be turning out completely the opposite of what they expected. And they're all shocked. But none of the networks is counting or even considering or discussing the effect that the Second Amendment made on this election. It just might be significant and in the days ahead it might come out. We'll see. Well, whoever you voted for, it really doesn't matter in the regard that we now have to bring the country together and that's the job of the new president and our job also. But getting back to the subject, to be fair to the 44 Special, the six grains of unique and getting unburned powder, I decided to go ahead and up the powder charge from six grains to 6.5 grains and use a magnum primer because the powder space requires it. So we use the 6.5 grains also in the 44 Russian and the Magnum primers also in the 44 Russian. Well, here's what we got. The muzzle velocity was 870 feet per second, not like the 600 from before. So it shot very well. In fact, that is a by one and an eighth inch group. And if you don't count the one flyer, that group is actually less than an inch. So good accuracy befitting the 44 Special. That's a target round, popular back in the earlier days when the 44 Special first came out. So let's look at, look at what the 44 Russian did. And with the 6.5 grains of Unique and the Magnum Primer, the group was the exact opposite of what happened before. We got keyholes. Look at those keyholes there. There's three out of five are keyholes, and it shot a very bad group. Obviously, it doesn't like the Magnum primers, and the muzzle velocity turned out to be 901 feet per second, so it only gained a 30 feet per second advantage over the 44 Special, and that's because of the more efficient burn of the powder in that smaller case. Well, 30 feet per second sounds much more logical than 200 feet per second disparity. So they're, they're pretty close together. Also what I did was I switched bullets from the Keith bullet to the Lee 240 grain tumble lube semi wad cutter because that has more bearing surface, uh, less weight in the nose and might favor the 44 Special more. Um, but the accuracy for the 44 Russian was really bad and that might be, just be because of the Magnum Primer because a smaller powder space doesn't need a Magnum Primer. At any rate, the difference in muzzle velocity is not as great as we would have from the previous test but unburned powder will do that to you. So I wanted to report this to you 
uh, to get that clear. So this is a second testing to find out what the difference between a smaller powder space versus a larger powder space in terms of powder burning efficiency and muzzle velocity and accuracy. Still haven't settled it but uh, get a good idea that a smaller case volume will give us more pressure and velocity than a larger case volume. But the difference is not as great as we had seen before. Plus I was going to test four grains of universal powder in the 38 short colt compared to four grains of universal powder in the 38 special compared to velocity differences from the short case to the less efficient big case and see about the accuracy but the first two shots I took with the 38 short colt put two bullets like this but it had gotten so dark that neither one of those registered on the chronograph so we're gonna have to do that part of the test again but the accuracy sure is there wouldn't you think Bye for now.